Hey everyone, I am back for the second and final video. Ladies and gentlemen, have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. And of course, you will get a notification from YouTube. And don't worry, I will discuss my social media accounts after this part of the video is over. Now, switching your sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat. Or grab something to drink, or maybe just maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this lovely subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now, once again, there'll be a link. Let's get in on with the show on the road. Now, what is your favorite uh, Edge documentary so far? What is your favorite one? There, there are so many different ones. I remember back in the day, way before the W Network. He had a nice documentary with this case, and you know, this is the time when he was a radar superstar. I used to have it, I got rid of it because I just got rid of it because I was moving, you know. So I should have kept it, but whatever, you know. I don't know if it's on Peacock or not, probably just the matches, not the documentary. But this guy is awesome. Now, Edge made it. In an appearance on a bus and open radio to discuss a wide range of topics. Now, the topics you guys check out, I guess, W is filming a new documentary of Edge that is awesome. I'm assuming they got mention of him coming back from, you know, no one thought he would come back from the major um, injury he had. He had a forced retirement. He doubt all the doubters out there, and guess who did? He signed a three-year contract back in 2020. He has some great rivalries, especially when with Randy Orton. I don't care for that match during the pandemic, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? I don't care for it. Not that one. There's other matches between him and Orton I love, but not, not that one. I'm sorry. I mean, they have some great spots, but I just... You could tell those guys were just sweating bullets in that place because it was so small. And I don't think they had an AC on. I don't know. I don't know when they did this match. I don't care for it. I don't I don't want to say it. I don't, I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm looking forward to the next documentary. Hopefully, they show some more stuff between him and Seth Frick Rollins. Behind the scenes, how it all started. And all good stuff, you know. And I don't know if you guys know him. He signed a contract during the 2020. He says, if I come back, I'm not going to win any championships. That's good because most of these Hall of Famers or future Hall of Famers, they want one more glory. They want one more run. They should take the same page of the edge like Goldberg, you know. Did he really need to win championships late in his career? Absolutely not. Do they get paid more money if he become champion late in his career or just overall? Please let me know. If that's the case, then maybe that's why Goldberg wants to win championships after championships after championships. That make no sense. You should give it to the young guy. Okay? But whatever. I'm not the people who's in charge backstage. So, we all know that he's married to uh, Beth Phoenix. Probably they can discuss that and... And probably they're going to discuss his favorite Hell in a Cell match and all that other stuff, you know. You know, this might be the last of we've seen Edge at WrestleMania. Or he might take a, uh, he might be gone a while and he might come back at SummerSlam. And he's, he's going to retire regardless. So it's sad to say that, but our athletes that we grew up with are getting old or about to retire in you know, there's no such thing. We all know that there's no such thing of retirement because they always drag him back in in some capacity. So he's doing other things besides wrestling related, you know. If you met him, probably he's a cool guy. I love his, when he first debuted back in the day of WF, he came a long way. I thought he would never get the opportunity of became the main guy. It took forever, but he did it. I remember the time when he was the very first Money Bank winner back in 05, WrestleMania 21, in the rest of his history. And of course, eventually, he came, um, became um, 
radar superstar that will never work in today's modern era with that gimmick. No way in hell. So what is your favorite gimmick of Vidge? What is your worst gimmick of Vidge? Probably none of them. He's so flipping good. Do you think he's better with it, with Christian or do you think he's better on his own? Let me know what you think. I think he's both better. As a tag team with, with Christian and of course on his own. So all that stuff. I'm looking forward to this. I think it will be on Peacock. Let me see here. Yes. During it, he revealed that Dovey has been filming a documentary about him. It's unclear when it will air on Peacock. Probably sometime in the spring or the summer or the fall. It all depends. Of course, nothing's official. They're in stages. I mean, maybe they'll announce it during the pay-per-view. Who the hell knows? It's coming soon. Have a good one now. Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the show, that's fine and dandy. If not, then don't worry about it. Don't forget, sometime tomorrow will be the review of Night 1 of WrestleMania. Okay? Then Night 2 will be the review of Night 2 on Monday sometime. So look out for those reviews, please. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow once again. Peace out, and stay safe.